That's when it's my favorite. It makes sure that it's doing good. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh Vat Parashuram was standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs <laughs> Need to be on that truck before it goes. Oh. So you're gonna miss. How much for it really? Not for sale. Don't get me wrong, decent technique on the lift, but I'd like my Ganesh back, please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Oh. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen. I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal.
red door. That's it. Better than nothing. Here we go. It's just an active war zone. Nothing you can't handle. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey! Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Aravdazon. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Red door. Check. No, no. this way. Shift ends in an hour. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. Okay. You're moving out tonight. Can't wait. I'm tired of these people. No. Right. Asar says one Great week. timing. Another week in this shithole. Remember the end goal? Yeah. Lotus. The hell does that mean? Oh. Oh. Oh my God. The Indian army is not messing. 
messing around. Ah, oh, pink lotus. Not what I was picturing. Two targets. One was the warehouse, the other. <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. What the? <laughs> relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down a solve. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no water fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Mm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor balcony. All right. Let's do this. Had a street route all planned out. But they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. I'll just borrow this. Fraser. Mm hmm Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Wesala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. Careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You too can't. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. A thief. 
You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. Oh, after them! Messy, but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess the leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! So this is dangerous. Jump! Oh no! Fuck oh, you! Lane, come on! You still have the disc? Yeah. Keep moving. Going Watch somewhere. Up. Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> Last door. Bloody. Let's go. Stop them in this Whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm okay.
we going out there? On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesha's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. It's a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is her Salah? Hoi Salah. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a soft. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Oh, look at this. Poisala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. <laughs> the old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Balur. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balur. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? <clears throat> hey. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. I'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan, unless you brought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. <laughs> right. That should no, do the no, trick. No. Fraser, move! It's an ambush! <laughs> Shit! Take cover! Thanks <laughs> uh, oh, for the heads up! Oh, uh, uh, Enjoy that. Okay, we're clear.
That wall looks fragile. Everything okay up there? Yep, all good. I found the tusk of Ganesh, by the way. We're done. <coughs> right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah. And there we go. Stop! A soft. Huh. Well spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Hmm? Shit, what was that? Hmm. Nothing. <gasps> oh, hell. This'll make a racket. A shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Adio. <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Boisselar jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Boy Salar Empire was 
kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols on. Star. Your Salah sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better. Turns out getting walloped by an axe. That's a lift. Hey, you. Want to give it a shot? <laughs> Not paying me nearly enough.
whiz by. Here we go. I guess this will be a picture of Max. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. Turn the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. And now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. Australia. <laughs> Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. 
Gotta love a shortcut. Ah. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. Hang on. Site secure. Well done. And you said I was like a bull in a china shop. I never said that. No, but you thought... Caught me there. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. No, I'm looking in that gate. Perfect. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, please. Show me how it's done. Watch and learn. Don't get started without me. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. <laughs> oh, nearly there. <laughs> Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. This will be a bow. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Sharama. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Could there be water? Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It 
showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, this is open now. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And a war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. What the hell? Now that's what I'm talking about. Don't say I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. I bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that.
Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. That's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah, their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. I think I see a place we could swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Huh? Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm so... oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it. Impressive. Yeah. Oh. No. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet. Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. <sighs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. Ganesh is even off. I guess it's not really his style. Out of the sure looks like it. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Our moments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Oh, nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. 
Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water anymore. Anyway. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the X? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. Hush. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. See what's happening. The shadows match the mirrors. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun.
I think that's it. We did it. Doors open. Yeah. Not any help from here whatsoever. You're welcome. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh. Careful. Mm -hmm. Amazing. What the Shiva? Oh, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva is the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Razor! Oh. Oh. I'm okay! Go! I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueduct. <laughs> Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> you 
know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. <laughs> I'll take point. They flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. Don't. Progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Yeah, I remember. Right. You take left. Are you having I take doubts? right. I don't see that. <gasps> what the? <laughs> that works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. We're not in the line of fire. Is that thing carved on the floor? <laughs> what do you suppose it is? Up here. Think there's a way through. <coughs> Poor bastards. Don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Without. 
Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. It's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Make this quick. Give me back my disc. Come get it. You're making this easy. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. Wait. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, but Sav's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. Okay. We made it. Let's get that thing open. Andy, Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? 
Same Drake. It's a goddamn dick, but it's same Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man, that's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. <sighs> and to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. This is what I get for being honest. Socked in the door. Well, Nandy's not too far. Oh. Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course they're... Back in the four by four. Ha! So here's where the aqueduct picks up. Must have raised the Nandy statue. There goes nothing. Slow down. Slow down. Well, at least I've still got my dignity. This way. Ah, good. <laughs> oh, right. That's more like it. She's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her.
Nothing yet. And keep your eyes open. They must be hiding somewhere. Can't have gone far on foot. for the count. That's it. We're clear. <laughs> Shit. You need a hand? There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, 
I... Spit it out. Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority's the tusk. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Uh, what the hell are they doing? Taking shortcuts. Kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. You hear that? Now I do. Find us. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. some of this?
Look, I am... Um... I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions. Because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But bandits raided his camp and um, local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So? Listen, Fraser. You don't have to... Oh! It's a dewey. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak elephant. She was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right? I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, hey? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. We've got a call for them. Right. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? I 
can't let a Sav get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Place is flooded. Top of a doorway over here. That'll work. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? What on earth is this place? A throne room, place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. Are these stairs going up? But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not yeah. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Oh. Listen. Looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Oh shit, this one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. 
You got that? Yeah. There. Can you make a phenomenal statue? Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water. It's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit! <laughs> ah! was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Oh, Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. But... I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Huh. 
Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Voss. Don't talk to me. <clears throat> you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama. Anything stupid. Huh. Nothing over here. Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet.
He's yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. He yielded. Huh? Are you all right? Here. Yeah. That was unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? Uh, I I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! The buyers. What do you mean? Still very soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. 
He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh... <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. The Sovel have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in the family. Can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoisala crap. Hoisala. Yeah, that too. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah. I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I thought I was a goner. I wouldn't let that happen. Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. What is this place? Light? Sure. All right, well, there's only a few of them. We can probably... What? That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure, what? the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these... Hey, Sam. Saying... Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and just... She said she was cool! Whoa! Do you like my improvisation? Yeah! Oh. Gold star for you!
word? What? Just following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone from Shoreline get the tusk. That RPG trashed the exit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. Sam, you can use my rope. Go ahead, you can use mine. I'm part of the rope club, I'm honored. It's clear, come on. Here, I got your rope. Thanks. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms did. We... They didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's Asav. With... Walker. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. Right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We're out of plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Oh, great. Chopper's airborne. Well, there goes our tusk. No. We're gonna stick around to clean house first. You mean us? Let's bring that sucker down. Finally, something we can use. <laughs> too little, too late. What does that mean? Asav has been lying to us. There's no glory in this. Talk like that to anyone else, brother. You'll be shot. I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. Then just think it and shut up.
Your boss says an eye for good gear. I'm looking forward to using a rifle that does not tell. But one thing you do do well is cigarettes. Cheers for that. You're most welcome. share from the island. My brother keeps telling me I need to invest. You invest? Good luck. Good job, bro. I couldn't follow a word he was saying. You need to diversify your portfolio. Yeah, guns, women. It's already diverse.
Someone get a battle on them! Yeah! Uh, damn, how are they still fighting? It goes nothing! Oh! Shit! <laughs> Got it! Get to the door! Here we go! Red! Oh, hi! done with my company made it profitable for starters i think that was a rhetorical question love i should have shot you back on that god for second island i wish you had it would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run why would you just hash your shit out on your own time okay uh tusk please you two partners Either you've got a piss poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owl's belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. <clears throat> Cat. Gun! Nice <clears throat> shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could've... the hell off me. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Uh. Mind if you see that first? Um, hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting, Chloe, Cher. Okay, I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. It's a bomb. What? A Sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll, we'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. 
Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? <sighs> what? You're not gonna leave me back there with her? Out! No! I call shotgun. I'll sit in the back. What? Right, follow the bridge. <coughs> Anyone see a road anywhere? I make my own roads. Well, keep your eyes on your road then. I stand. Do you want to drive? I mean, kind Too of... bad. Buckle up, Buttercup. Whoa! Look, this isn't my car. Shit! Motorbikes! Ah. I've run them off the road! We've got a stow away! Ah, good one. Thanks. Out of my way! He'll be all right. Didn't know you cared. Ah, he's got the tusk. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? Near the engine. Right, that's our next stop then. Okay, this is really dangerous. Okay, good. Making progress. Out here! Shit! Company's here! Assault's gone!
Keep going. We have to get to the engine.
need to bail! Now! Oh, whose stupid idea was this? Yours! Right. Come on, front of the train is just ahead. Trading the tusk for a bomb? Commandeering a train? It must have taken us odd months to plan this. Making it all the sweeter, won't we bollocks it all up? I think we're almost there. White Budge, let me help. Oh, this is really heavy! Go! I got it. Okay, your turn! Uh, oh, it's way bigger in person. It's military grade, all right. Here, help me. It's too heavy! You can't disarm it? It'd detonate if I tried. All right, plan B then. Let's get to the engine. You coming? Okay, you go. Okay. That's definitely the engine. We can slide this way. Come on. No. No, no, no! Oh. The welded it shut. Shit. Hey, roof hatch. Don't think about what you're doing. Just do it. Come on! Uh. Any luck? Oh, this one's welded shut too. There must be another way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all in. A switch? What? Up ahead, a switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train, buy us some time. All right, sounds good. I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. Oh, shit! God damn it! Go! I'll keep him the bank.
Okay, there's the train. But how the hell do I get on board? Can't see any bridges or crossings. Well, shit. That works. Oh my god, the bridge. Shit. Shit. considered myself a patient man, but you two are a special breed of mongrel. Good. I'm really going to enjoy this. Come, show me how it's done. <laughs> risk your lives. And for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. <laughs> <laughs> possibly stand to gain. Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb. I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg oh. me to save them. Marine! Let's finish this. Vermin. I'll break you! Don't fight! One should know when they're conquered! Your time ends now! Ugh. <laughs> 
We have done here. You think you've won? More will rise up. Like the young king, you have achieved nothing. It's like you said. Progress demands sacrifice. Fraser, we need to go. Smug little shit! Run! you guys get out of that? You know, I'm just still figuring that out myself. And, uh, Asav? I'm done with this train. Yeah, well, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Oh. Will you look at that? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Yep. We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline. Conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really? If anything, I was thinking I might give this uh, treasure hunting racket another go. I don't have any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner. Right. Not you. Okay. Oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. You're f Ow! Okay. Jesus. That's my last cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh, how much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner. Elbow. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Ministry of Culture. Oh my God, you're serious. 